I am serving some juicy looking long bob knotless messy braids on this one. Stay tuned to see how to do yours. welcome back if you're new here welcome i'm starting off with freshly washed air these are the air that i'm using i used um the darling super soft braids and the passion twist air i'm also using both the shine and jam and the dark and lovely less jam conditioning gels to achieve neater parts and to tame my hair for these braids i have very little of them both of them left that's why i'm using the two as you can you should also section out your braiding air to make the braiding process easier so when parting my hair i don't really use mirrors to achieve precise parts i do not really i mean i try to get the parts to be as neat as possible but i really don't make a fuss out of it so i just basically pat my hair and feel with my fingers to know if they are neat enough and i just go with it And for this process, I'm not exactly using the rubber band method. I only just use the rubber bands to create um, pre-sectioned parts for this hairstyle to make my braiding process easy again. And you guys, can you see my hair? I actually left my hair to air dry and stretch out in chunky braids, but my hair being as tough as the it is actually it did not stretch out perfectly and i did not want to go in with any it too because one i don't care for, i don't i want to avoid it as much as possible and two i just don't have that much energy to start blow drying or using any tool to blow out my hair to make it a lot straighter so but I would advise that you do whatever you, you do to get your hair stretched for this style. That way your braids will come out looking extra and super neat as though you went to the salon to get them done. But for me, I did not care. I did not really mind to have it perfectly neat. So I just went ahead and tried to bury my hair in the braiding air as much as possible again my hair is thick and it was not properly stretched out so obviously the outcome will not be perfect but i did not mind that you guys if you're wondering i think i ended up having about 32 sections of braids i ended up joining some smaller sections in the front to form one section and yeah that was how we ended up with about 32 or 33 braids on my head you guys it was a huge chore patting my hair myself guys i almost gave up and the fact that my hair did not really stretch out it almost almost gave me a take like I almost backed out like I almost didn't want to go through with their style again because I felt like it did not come out neat but I think I'm happy that I pushed myself to do it because I love the outcome let me know in the end whether you like 
the outcome what you think about the hairstyle okay so after many many hours of braiding we finally arrived at the front section and i'm so i just braid about three steps from the root before i start adding or feeding in my braiding hair as you're going to see i can't really explain all the entire process but this clip is actually slowed down so that you can see feel free to replay it if you do not get any part of this video any part of this um visuals okay So I begin adding the passion twist air. I begin feeding in the passion twist air after when I've almost or co completely braided past my natural air. So after which, when I braid to my desired length, I then go ahead to cut off the straight what's left of the straight air, and then leaving some more of the passion twist air just so that I can have the curly tips and then i cut trim of the excess as you will see me do but these i do after of course banding the tip of the air with rubber bands So if you did not get any part of the clip you just watched, here is me doing it again.
So after breeding for long hours, I just decided to do a little magic trick. <laughs> oh my god. And yeah. Yeah. We are done. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I really, really love this air. I got lots of compliments about this air. Let me know what you think. Do you think I did good with this one? Let me know in the comment section if you're going to be trying it. yeah i'll catch you on my next one thanks for watching hi guys check out these amazing videos that i've handpicked specially for you